Hi everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I'm really excited to let you all know that I've just completed a brand new course on drawing human anatomy. Now, I've been an animator for over 27 years, something like that, and, and an artist doing a lot of different things, and I've always found that drawing accurate uh, human anatomy, having that knowledge has always been fundamental. It's always been absolutely needed in the work that I do. Even with my work with, at, at Disney, when I was designing characters there, um, even though those characters are cartoony, they're pushed, they're all based in reality. So I've spent years and years and years learning human anatomy, the, the rhythms, the flows, the muscles, how everything works in order to pull from that, in order to caricature and create the characters that I did at Disney. In this new course, um, I just kind of want to take you through in my own style. It's my own informal way of just kind of talking about the human form, things that I've learned, some of the muscle masses, some of the understructure, how it all works. So the first thing that I want to talk about in the course is the human skeleton. What's happening underneath? So I talk very briefly um, about some of those big masses, the rib cage, the thrusts of the rib cage. You know, a very important area is the pelvis and what happens in there and how the body, kind of the weight sits on top of that. And then we start getting into kind of the outside of the body, what's happening on top of that skeleton. And in the course, I just kind of start at the top and work my way down. So that, that next video that I talk about, I'm gonna be talking about head proportions, kind of, you know, where do the features fall on the, on the face? Where does everything line up? And then from there, I get into a little bit more individual areas. So I'm gonna talk about, you know, the eyes. I even talk about, you know, I, I do some animation and talk about blinks and what's happening there. And then we'll get into the nose and the structure there, the, the mouth, the lips. You know, how are those structured? What happens when you open your mouth? Those types of things. There's another part of the head that a lot of people overlook, which is the ears. The ears are very complex organ, you know, as far as what they look like on the outside. And a lot of people, even though we see them every day, a lot of people don't really know what's going on in that, in that structure. Which brings me to actually to another point. It's interesting to me that here we are, we are people, we are figures. Um, and yet the human figure is one of the hardest things to draw. And people will spend an entire lifetime you know, figuring that out and uh, and perfecting it. And yet we still are people. So it's, it's an interesting thing to me. And so it requires a lot of observation. And so these are some of the things that I'm, I'm trying to bring into this course for you guys. You know, after we talk about some of the features on the face, then I wanna, I wanna get into the full body. And so that next video that I talk about, I'm gonna be talking about body proportions. And I'll talk about the proportions of a man, talk about the proportions of a woman, talk about the proportions of a child and even a toddler and how all those proportions, you know, especially from a, from a toddler through a child up through adulthood, how those proportions change, well, the differences between a man and a woman. Okay. And then from there, um, I'm just going to start breaking down different body parts. So that next the next thing we'll talk about, we're gonna talk about arms. I wanna talk about the musculature of the arm, the deltoid, the bicep, the triceps, the forearms, how it feeds into the wrist, and how all those rhythms, you know, there's lots of different things. There's a lot of the, the fluidity, there's flow that happens throughout the body and the arm. And then from there, we're gonna get into hands. Hands are extremely difficult and they're extremely important. They're so expressive. I talk with my hands all the time, as you'll notice in my videos. And so it's important, it's extremely important, whether you're an animator, a figure artist, whatever, to know how to draw hands and to get the expressions, to get the rhythms, to know foreshortening. I spend quite a bit of time on foreshortening, how to draw the hands you know, at this angle, okay? And then from there, we're gonna get into legs. I'm gonna talk about the musculature of the legs from the back, the front. We'll get into drawing feet and how the toes work, how you, you know, all that, you know, feet, the feet are something that's, actually quite often overlooked. And so I wanna talk about them a fair amount. And so we'll, we'll get into that. 
And then we'll get up into the into the torso. What's happening with all the musculature? So I'll talk about how the pectoralis muscles work all the way down into your obliques, your serrat uh, serratus muscles, into your, uh, your latissimus muscles, which come up through the side, into your trapezius muscles in the back, all the, the rhomboids, everything, all the muscles in the back, the front, everything. We'll talk about all that kind of how everything comes together in the torso on both a male and a female and the differences between the two. And so once we kind of get through all of the body like that, then I want to start bringing it all together. And so we'll do a video on gesture drawing. And in that video, what I really want to focus on is fluidity. How does everything fit together? How do we think about it? How do, we, how do I get it down quickly? How do I you know, find that fluidity, find that flow, find the gesture? And so that's what I'm going to focus on in that video. The video after that, I'm going to talk about kind of finishing it off, how we add the details of the muscles the, uh, and the details of all the, the different body parts, how they come together without losing that fluidity, because that's what's really important in getting a good figure drawing. And then after that, because of my background in animation, I thought I would like to take it a little bit further and talk about the human body in motion. And so I decided to go ahead and take three actions. I decided to take a human walk in profile, a male walk in profile, a female walk coming straight at you and talk about what's happening with the hips, talking about the physics, what's happening with, with when the body is walking and all the different things that, that are having to happen in order to get that momentum, to get that walk, to get the, 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 the body moving forward. And then I'll also cover uh, a male run. And in that one, I'm going to do it in profile and we'll talk about this character that's running and I'll go through step by step through that, uh, through, through that process of, of running, the physicalities of everything that goes into that. So there's a lot involved in all, the, on, in all of the, uh, the, the videos that I've provided for you. And also, you'll get copies, you'll get JPEGs of every single drawing that I do in the course, along with movie files of the animation that I created and Photoshop files of that same animation broken up into layers so that you can have every drawing from those bits of animation so you can see how those characters move. So, so there's a lot uh, within this course. And like I said, it's a very laid back, very casual course. It's my teaching style. Um, and it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's everything that I've kind of picked up over the years in drawing the human form. So um, it's available right now at my website, creatureartteacher.com. And um, it's something that, like I said, I've been wanting to get out to you guys for a long time. And uh, I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, until then, I hope you go out and have a great time drawing and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.